morning, preschool friends. How is everyone today? Are you having an awesome Thursday so far? Well, I sure am. I'm so excited to read the word collector to you guys today. This book has a lot of really big words in it. So if there's a word you don't know what it means, but you love it and you love the way it sounds, just let me know. I'll tell you what it means because you can use all the big words that are in this book. You can say them too. So let's go ahead and see what this book is all about. So again, it's called The Word Collector. And the author illustrator is Peter H. Reynolds. He did both. He, he wrote the words and he drew the pictures. So let's get started. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, hmm, what did he collect? What do you think? Jerome collected words. This says wonder. He collected words that he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant, and he wrote down Peru. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. He liked willow, so he wrote willow. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. He liked the word emerald. Short and sweet words like spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats like treasure, whisper, candid, hover, glimmer. And multi syllable words that sounded like little songs guacamole, geometry, kaleidoscope, wonderful symphony. Those are all awesome words. There were words that he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, bosserifus, efferescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Torrential, smudge, bellow, Tyrannosaurus rex. Wow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more and more of his favorite words. So he writes them down, he puts them in his scrapbook. Jerome's collections grew and grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, <gasps> Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh my goodness, poor Jerome. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Hmm. Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. He's making songs. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. He says, I understand. I'm sorry, thank you, and you matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He's throwing his words out. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Wow, they're all catching his words. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. And this says, reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. The end. That is such a fun book, The Word Collector. You can use all of those big words that he was talking about and more. If you want to know what one of those words means, let me know. Tell me in our comments, what is your favorite word? It doesn't have to be a big word. Maybe your favorite word is smile. Maybe your favorite word is pineapple. Tell me what your favorite word is. And I hope you guys all have a great day and a great weekend. See you later.